Hello once again, I'm Steel Walrus, and you are awesome. Anyhow, uh, we've managed to continue moving forward. We're gonna go with more formation flying on there. Um, we've about overrun Poland, which is pretty hilarious, um, but not unexpected. Plane. You know what's funny is I actually had a bunch of fortresses built up just in case we ended up at war on this front, and now they will probably be kind of unnecessary. Uh, how are they doing? I'm so used to going to here for, for that sort of thing. It's actually here. Uh, oh yeah, we don't have Warsaw yet. We'll probably win once we take Warsaw. Uh, we may actually take the land that we have claimed from them. Because uh, we, have, we have a lot of this area claimed. So that'll be nice. Be unnecessary, so we'll see. Oh, you actually pick up. Hold on, that's cool. He's picked up some traits, which is he's very neat. Swamp Fox, Engineer, Mountaineer, Hill Fighter, Ranger. Yeah, that's neat. He's probably going to have quite a few. Uh, Tukachevsky still has just the one. Um, who's who's leading the fight here? Jukov. Well, he is the uh, the ranking commander. Um, Vladislaw Sikorsky is reporting initiative. Tukachevsky is learning nothing. Kind of cool that he's taking over sort of the operations. Warsaw is still holding out, which is kind of surprising, but not entirely, I guess. Because fighting in cities is quite the pain. Okay going on um resistance to occupation okay we're gonna temporarily assign them uh to sort of occupy the area so we don't have to worry too much with it. Ah, finished anti-capitalist diplomacy. Fantastic. Let's go reconcile Japan. Uh, Warsaw has fallen. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and give the Germans military access. Uh, unlike 1920, there was no miracle at uh, Vistula when Soviet armies recently approached Warsaw. Polish resistance in the city has largely collapsed, and the Soviet flag can be seen raised over most government buildings. We are witnessing uh, the end of the Polish nation, or uh, will their forces somehow manage to rebound and take their capital? Most experts consider this scenario unlikely. I'd imagine so. Because the entire freaking Red Army is just chilling in Poland now. Oh! 
and more resistance. this. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's have these guys just sort of pull back and uh, participate in the occupation. Got a lot of supplies on some of these, but that's, uh, that's fine. Like, part of me wants to just take Poland, but, uh, on the other hand, I don't really want to get into it with Germany, you know? Not right now, anyway. Still Western Poland. Good. military factories we have nine of them okay let's see heavy tanks uh, probably gonna be pretty much always behind on those uh, let's start working on close air support uh, let's see and maybe, maybe more like tanks, 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 tanks. Okay, there we go. We have insufficient resources. Let's just trade with the UK for now, I guess. Just a couple more good, solid victories should uh, should handle this. Okay, looks like we finished up the subs, which is good. Uh, let's see here. Building some more military factories. Of course, we've got to repair a bunch of this. Um. And then we'll have uh, a bunch of dockyards to build.
You know, if we can actually take Poland, which would be pretty interesting. Um, we actually might perhaps be able to avert the Second World War because we can just hand um, what Germany owns or is supposed to own via the uh, Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact to Germany. Or we could just hold on to Poland and march on Germany. Because that would be pretty hilarious. Poland has surrendered. Excellent. We could take all states. Wow. I'm trying to remember what we actually have a claim on. I think it's only like this. Claimed. Yeah, take all states. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. So, taken Poland, or most of it, and I think, I think I may have, oh no, we're only 13 minutes in. So, halfway through this episode, and Poland is pretty much just dead. That's pretty great, if you ask me. Like, uh, I I'm legitimately amused by that. Well, let's see what we can do. Nineteen thirty-nine. We can improve our artillery, but I want to get the A thirty-two researched. We're a little bit behind in armored technology. Okay, so uh, let's see here. We've got a kind of reassess our situation. Uh. And we'll put uh, Tukachevsky here as well. Except we're going to also put uh, half of them here. Sign them here. Okay, so there's that. Um, 
Let's see, who else do we have? Friggin... Oh, they're all redeploying to Moscow. Uh... Uh... Two along the Romanian border. Put you on this border. This border. And there. I think that handles pretty much everybody. Which unit are they a part of? Oh, that's weird. Um, well let's let's have them sort of occupy this region anyway. Assign them all to it. Okay, so we have free dockyards now. That's good. Yeah. I just want to build like one of these, though. Uh, we don't have any fact. We don't have any factories building CAS. That's oh, because most of them were in Poland. We should have just kept Poland, but yeah, that's no big deal, I guess. Uh, army regrouping, that sounds good. We also... Oh, we can invite somebody to our faction. Uh, no, we're actually going to annex them. At some point. Uh, that being said... Let's see if we can... They're not currently at war, that's understandable. if there's a way to do that. Oh, we don't have enough to improve relations with them. Uh, speaking of... Almost there. Huh. Okay, we need to pretty heavily... Uh, what's the word? Reassess way we've got our stuff put together here. Okay. Uh, I also want to go in and build some forts. Just in case. Nothing too fancy, but, uh, Never hurts. Hmm. See, we've got <laughs> two lines right now, forts. Which is pretty awesome. Pretty well defended on the, f the front we've got here. Not going to worry too much about defending against these guys. I mean, we should be able to hold Romania back if they ever decide they want to try something. So, we're good there. Make sure I haven't missed anything. We've got Reconcile with Japan, which is good. Um, I want to expand the Red Fleet. Let's do that first. Let's 
level areas, though we've already taken a giant bunch out of uh, Poland here. We'll look at something. Things on Poland. Uh, I think we actually got maybe a little bit more than we were supposed to. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, yeah, sure. So now they have this island here, uh, which is fine. Or they have the northern half of this island. They had the south originally. Um, and we are on good terms with them, so... Bully. Let's see, what are these guys doing? Okay. Officers, excellent. We're going to start putting uh, these guys over here. This guy's about ready to roll. 20 airplanes. Okay, cool. We can actually have quite a few. Of course, we're pretty depleted from the war with Poland. That's to be expected. Okay. What are we doing? Excellent. Okay. Uh, improve our artillery. Or, oh boy. Um, yeah, we gotta do this. So let's edit our armor divisions to include medium tanks. Save that. Let's do this. Um, I'm actually going to edit these to be light tanks. medium tanks. Mobile infantry, I guess, is a, a good way to put it. So we are missing equipment production. Uh, we'll have we'll have some factories to deal with that shortly. Let's see here, go with decryption. Go 
is medium tank, but I want to create a variant. Two of them. What are we doing on other stuff? We still need a lot of infantry equipment. That's uh, to be expected. Um. Oh boy. Thanks. That's what we are horrifically behind on. Well, that and medium tanks. Now we're not actually going to build any of those uh, armored cavalry units. I don't. I don't see much reason to. Um, we already have quite a few laying about so how are we doing we're actually good on most things so let's go ahead yeah let's let's keep building medium tanks I suppose still doing okay on, uh, on factories I actually want to convert Um, a couple of civilian factories. After all of this is done. these up in priority. That's a fairly fast thing to do. Oop. Oop. Military factories has got two of them now to spare. Medium tanks. Uh, actually, I want to go ahead and build some more support for CAS aircraft. And I've forgotten yet again to do the, uh, the timer. I didn't even realize it this go around. Uh, but we're at like 30 minutes now, I think, somewhere about, so that's fine. Um, I guess we'll end here, though, uh, on a rather high note. And I will see you next time. I always appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos. It's it's nice, especially after the week I've had. Um, so, anyway, uh, hopefully I will see you next time. To make sure that I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out and uh, makes me feel good about all the stuff I have to do to get these videos out to y'all um and that way again you'll be able to make sure to see all of the stuff i put out here on steel walrus uh anyway i have been steel walrus the namesake of this channel you have been awesome as you always are and i will see you next time peace out